In this video, we're going to install our AB10 and EB10 breakout boxes onto the C400. To start, we'll use a jeweler style screwdriver. And this is optional, but I can't see a way that this would uh, not absolutely drive you crazy if we didn't remove these. So we're going to start by removing the screw here that holds the cover plate for the mini XLRs. These are just the dust port covers, which will dangle for eternity if we don't remove them. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we'll pull off the DIN covers here. And these uh, just pull out. And they can be pushed back in if you take the EB10 off, uh, just with a little bit of force. Okay, next we will install the rosette rod adapter. Uh, and these teeth on the rosette are cut uh, to the orientation that the camera rosette is. So you want to have the rod perfectly horizontal. And you will quickly see whether it is or it isn't. Okay, that looks good. Uh, and this is a four millimeter or five thirty seconds Allen wrench. Now we'll install the side breakout bar here onto the rod. And then lock that thumb screw. Okay, next we'll do the AB10. Uh, and you can sort of choose how you want to uh, route the cable and how much slack you want. So if you have this closer to the grip here, like let's say you're not using the grip at all and you want this super uh, far forward here, you'd want to leave a lot more slack here before you go through the little mouse opening on this cable recess. Uh, but for our purposes, I like to have this somewhere in this zone. So we're going to leave about one finger length of cable here on the outside of this little cable opening. So we can loop this around the cable recess one time and then go out that mouse hole right there. And then we'll use our same four millimeter Allen wrench and start tightening this screw into the hole. And the worst thing we could do is pinch a cable. So we're going to use caution here. We're going to look at all the cable routing. Make sure there's nothing in the way. We can give this a little bit of a wiggle as we're tightening it down, just to make double sure that we don't pinch a cable. Okay. Next, we'll take our EB10, the DIN breakout, and we'll align it with the connector on the back here. We just want to keep that very parallel going into the connectors because these pins are tiny. Okay. Same idea. Uh, we'll leave one finger length of cable on the outside there. And we'll loop this around. And then out the mouse hole. Again, we're using caution not to pinch a wire. Four millimeter Allen wrench. Just inspect. Looks good. Okay, give it a wiggle. We'll do one last tightening pass. Okay. Now we can check our work. All looks good. Uh, with this extra cable here, we can still access our audio control. So you can slide that back 
hit these switches, or you can slide this all the way to the end of the rod and access those switches. You can also replace this rod with a longer version if for some reason you wanted to have the connectors further back or if you wanted to add a focus motor up front. If you want to use the included C400 microphone shock mount, we have a mounting place on top of this side bracket. Uh, so we included a thumb screw for this to attach. Just drop that through and tighten it down. If you want to go crazy tight, you can use a sideways Allen wrench just to put a little bit more pressure on this here. 